Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor and today I'm going to be talking about why iCloud Photo Library may be a better choice for you than Google Photos. So I dumped my free unlimited photo storage with Google Photos and started paying for iCloud storage instead. Some of you may say I'm an idiot, but here's why I made the move. When it boils down to it, I switched away from Google Photos to iCloud Photo Library for privacy. Google Photos made me increasingly uncomfortable because Google is using my pictures to train their AI and can see exactly where I've been via the location in the metadata. Now I've talked before about how Google Maps kind of freaks me out because I know that Google is watching my every move and where I'm going. And really when I got down to thinking about it, when you take a picture on your phone, your GPS location is embedded in the data of that picture. And Google has that when you upload to Google Photos and you bet Google is using it. Now Google Photos has unlimited storage for free with minimal compression. Now this is great, but it's also a double-edged sword. Because it's free and unlimited, I never delete photos, and this means that I never look through my old pictures for memories because it's filled with a bunch of garbage, like irrelevant screenshots or bad pictures. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I would go on a vacation or a trip and take a whole bunch of photos and be like, yeah, I'm gonna go back and look at these later. And then I open Google Photos and I'm like, oh, what a mess. There's screenshots and crud everywhere. And I just ultimately get frustrated and leave the app instead of looking through my old pictures. Now, since iCloud Photo Library charges for storage and is not unlimited, this means I'm going to actually go through my photos and delete the ones I don't want. And since Apple is charging me for photo storage, this means everything is private and they aren't leveraging my data to make money. We have to remember that companies make their money by either using your data or by you paying them. If you are not paying for a service, then you're being served ads or the company is using your data and somehow making money with it. Now, Apple Photos has a screenshots folder, which really helps me sort through screenshots easily. Since screenshots are the majority of the junk that fill my photos app, this lets me zero in on just those and delete the ones I don't want. Additionally, continuity is also much better between Apple devices on iCloud Photo Library. There's no need for another app to check. All of your photos just sync between your devices without you having to think about anything. Maybe you took a picture on your iPhone earlier and you want to send it as an iMessage from your iPad. The photo is already there when you go to iMessage and you go to Photos. It just works and it works well. Now, one other thing I love is that Apple Photos automatically optimizes storage, meaning instead of having to periodically open Google Photos, make sure pictures are backed up, then remove them from Apple Photos, I know that Apple is taking care of it in the background and removing large versions of photos and videos from my phone once they've been backed up, but still leaving a compressed preview version so I can scroll all the way back and see old photos. So it just eliminates an extra step for me. I don't have to think, oh, do I have to clear out storage? It's already taken care of and I pretty much always have storage on my phone. It's kind of magic. But with that being said, iCloud Photo Library isn't perfect. Sometimes streaming large 4K videos from Apple's servers is glitchy at best. And functions like adding a large amount of photos to a shared album can take an eternity for seemingly no reason. I ran into this lately where I tried to add maybe 300 or so pictures to a shared photo album and I swear it sat on it for like an hour copying files over or I'm not sure what it was doing, but it should really be instant. Now iCloud Photo Library also makes it infinitely harder to share a large group of photos with Android users. Now you might say, well then just use Google Photos for sharing with Android users, but don't use Google Photos for your picture backups. Well, since Google Photos works on an all or nothing system for uploading your pictures, you'll need to find another solution to upload just the pictures you want to share with Android users, such as a service like Google Drive or Dropbox. Because Google Photos is really designed where it's gonna be 
all of your pictures are backed up and you're forced to hand over all that data to Google or you don't back up anything. So that's definitely a downside to iCloud Photo Library there. But lastly, iCloud Photo Library lacks the advanced algorithm that Google is famous for. Searching for pictures of your dog won't work nearly as well. And getting movies and memories that are automatically made for you definitely won't be as polished. The Google algorithm is great at finding pictures and videos that it knows are gonna make a great memory video and basically editing it for you and turning it into a movie that you're probably gonna enjoy watching. Now, Apple's iCloud photo library does this but like I said, it's not as polished and oftentimes I'm like, why did you put that picture in there? That's a terrible picture. In the end though, for me personally, I would rather pay for iCloud photo library storage and have that continuity and have everything just work and not have to think about clearing out the storage on my phone before I go on a vacation or film a long video. I really like the simplicity of it and I've actually enjoyed my time with iCloud photo library. I have been a Google Photos user for years, but I've gotta say, after trying iCloud photo library for a month, I'm here to stay. Even if it means I have to pay $10 a month at some point for two terabytes of iCloud storage, I think that's perfectly reasonable and I think it's a fair trade-off for having a more private and secure way to store my pictures that's very convenient. But what do you guys think? Would you use Google Photos since it's unlimited and free or would you stick with iCloud Photo Library and pay that additional cost? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.